Thank you for tuning in to OC Turtles and Tortoises. Today we're going to be doing a video on sexing different turtles and tortoises. So uh, when sexing turtles and tortoises, there's a couple signs that you want to look for. Um, this different, it's different with every species, but um, there's some common traits that you may see in some. And so we're going to get started by showing some of the Russian tortoises off. And so we're going to grab one of each sex and we'll show you what um, to look for. All right, so this is one of our Russian males, and at the back you can tell his tail is very long, and it has a little hook at the end, I don't know if you can see that right there. As opposed to our female right here, she has a very short and stubby tail. And with Russian tortoises, they have sexual dimorphism where the females are a lot bigger than the males, if you can tell, just by looking at them. Another telltale sign is that the males will have flared marginated scoots and they'll come up almost pointing upwards while the females kind of just flatten without going straight up like the males. And here we have another male his name is Ted, and his rear marginated scoots are also flared, and they come up right here, and his tail is also a lot longer than any other females. Here is another one of our females. As you can see, a very short, stubby tail, and her scoots are not as flared. At the desert ornate pen, we have two desert ornate box turtles. So now we're going to get into talking about difference in sexing box turtles. So it's a little bit harder than the Russian tortoises, but this is a male box turtle right here, male desert ornate. And you can see he has red eyes. He has big back legs with a hooked front nail. And a slight conca uh, concavity in the plastron. And so that's the male. So I'm gonna put him down for a sec. So this is the female. You could see she's being a little shy, but she does have green eyes. Now the eyes, females can have red eyes. So it's not the telltale sign, but in general cases, the males will have red eyes and the females will have either brown, green, yellow, different colors than um, red. Um, so she's gonna be a little shy, but she does have a little bit thinner back leg mass and she doesn't have quite a hooked tail, um, or hooked nail as he does. He will also have a green head and less patterns on his head. This is an older male, so he has lost some of his color. And so that's an example of the ornate or desert ornate box turtle. Okay, so I have two pairs of three toes that we're gonna show off. So this is the first one. This is Tucker. You can see a beautiful male three toe box turtle. And then this is Sally, our three legged box turtle. She had lost an arm to a raccoon attack. Um, and so right off the bat, the colors difference is are insane. Um, all the reds and oranges and yellows on this guy versus a uh, little bit of yellow, but more of the standard brown on her. Um, you can also see he has a concave plastron, if I hold him up like that, and she has more of a flatter pl uh, plastron. And so that is so he can mount on top of her during breeding. Um, the other signs, I'm gonna put her down so I can show off a little bit better. You can see that first nail is hooked and his back leg is much bigger versus her. You could see that difference in the back leg right there. And her nail is a little bit straighter there. And so that was our first pair and now the... So here we go, this is our second pair. We have Agent 76, the male. He has a mysterious number on his shell. Uh, we, he had that when we got him. And then this is Lola, the female. And so you could see the male has the very beautiful markings, the reds and the oranges, and he has that red eye. But the, she also has some pretty markings as well as a red eye, 
but it's just not as clear as it is on him. You could just see the difference in how vibrant the colors are. Her colors are a little bit more dull on the arms and on the head. Unfortunately, she is not, she's being a little shy and not showing us the colors there. But he does have, grab him right, that concave plastron, more so than she does. It's very slight in these guys. It might be much bigger in other males. And then also that hooked nail right there with the bigger back legs. And unfortunately, she is hiding completely. But this is another pair. This is another example of just the difference in sexing um, three-toe box turtles. Okay, guys, so that was our video on sexing turtles and tortoises. We just showed some box turtles and some um, Russian tortoises. Uh, the rules are pretty similar for a lot of the Mediterranean tortoises, especially in the tail. Box turtles, same kind of uh, generalities throughout the species. Um, and that was it. Obviously, do your research if you have any other species. There might be some other telltale signs to look for. And uh, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode.